Okay, let's leap into this long logarithmic equation. What we're going to do is solve for x. We've got a couple of x's in it. We've got an x over here and an x over here, but we don't have any x's on the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to solve this and we're going to utilize the tools called the laws of logarithms located out here in bright yellow so we can actually refer to them. So the equation is log base a x plus 2 take away log base a x minus 2 equals log base a 5. So how we're going to solve this for x? Well the first log law I'd like to use as I look at this would be the log law that involves this subtraction sign and that's the log law up across here. When we subtract two separate logs we can actually divide them together, can't we? So we're going to take these two elements, divide them, and see if we can balance the equation with log base a on both sides. So let's get started. So let's rewrite it. <clears throat> log base a over here. What we can do is these are subtracting, so that means we can divide them. So let's put brackets there, put x plus 2 on the top, that's this part there on the top, and this part here, drag and drop it under here, so minus 2 on the denominator there. Okay, and on this side, let's make it equal, exactly the same as it's written, log base a, 5. Okay. Now this is kind of balanced because we have log based A here and log based A over here. So we can cancel these two guys so we can start to solve for X. So let's do that. Let's cancel log base A, log base A, what you do to one side, do to the other. And we're left with this guy over here equaling 5. Well, what can we do next? Can we balance it some way? Well, if I was to rub out these two guys and put it over a 1, we can kind of cross multiply, can't we? <clears throat> so let's cross multiply. So that's going to mean we've got x plus 2 equaling x minus 2 times 5. So that'll be 5 bracket x minus 2. You could also say multiply both sides by x minus 2. It's the same thing. So let's kind of simplify this side here. That's going to equal 5x minus 10. And we've still got the x plus 2 on this side. <laughs> So what I'd like to do is subtract x from both sides. So let's do that. Let's subtract x from both sides. So I will take away x, take away x, leaving on the left-hand side just a single solitary 2. Now that 2 is going to equal, well, that's going to be 4x here. Take away 10. How about we add 10 to both sides? So let's add 10 and add 10 to that side. So 10 plus 2 gives us 12, doesn't it? So that means we're going to have 12, and that's going to equal, well, that 10 disappears, 4x. Let's bring it up here. 12 equals 4x, so the answer, solving this long logarithmic equation is, Dividing both sides by 4 